Hi all, this is later and I just oiled this. Well, I took this off. I was gonna keep it on to give myself the option to return it, but you know what? You can actually probably glue it back on, but Sometimes I do that and then I actually love the things a little bit less because I have to keep myself from actually cherishing them straight away. And like, I almost used to like, I just want to like hug them and be like, oh, it's so awesome. And I feel like the positive energy gets like absorbed. I'm just thinking about that. That would tie in very well with all decluttering videos and Konari and all. I'm not sure how much that ties in with. Christ and all these things I received but I think it was making a point that um it's an investment and I love because I love how oil brings out the colors more so I like wash, washed it twice because it was second hand so I like, wanted to really because normally if it wasn't wood or anything I could like use like um isopropyl alcohol I might have mispronounced that but and I don't have one at the moment, I'm buying a new one, but like, like the alcohol would like, um, and also it might be like damaging to the wood, but normally I might do that just because you know it's food and all, but like I think it was kind of new. It might have been this, that like somebody had to let it go. Or maybe because it's so small. Um, anyway, like washed it I think twice, then oiled it. I think once or twice, and then wash it again, and then all the two times more. So yeah, he's older. I got such a old it, oiled it. Wait, I know it's like super boring, but like I didn't want it to be just one minute, a minute long. So yeah, um, and kind of let it, like I would like let it soak in a little, and then oil it again. But you know what? Sort of a grown up chopping board, you know what I mean? This is the old one. I don't even remember how this happened, but there's something. Oh no, it's. No, wait, that doesn't make sense. I want to say beetroot, but it doesn't make sense because, like, this is way too small for beetroot. This has been... I'm actually confused after learning about moms and staying true to our roots. However,. This is why I should have done the decluttering. In retrospect, I should have done it. Straight after the receivings about, you know, faithful minimalism. And after, like, before the mom, because I didn't know that was going to happen. But at the time, I remember how I learned with a bracelet that, um, you know, um, like, if it's something that you're old, you would have really liked, or the old version of you. But you don't now, then to be let go so this is really also with like energy and all because like i feel like it does kind of also maybe have some of the energy like i don't know if that's energy but like back in the day when I was young. so every time i look at it i always feel like i'm a child looking at this i think we got this i think i was 11 maybe 11 and a half like something like that when we left primary school, one of our classmates says, I think dad, classmates says dad, one of our classmates, dad, like, yeah, one of the dads, no, the dad of one of our classmates, thank you very much, um, made these for us, which is so cool that he even had the ability or like, knew how to do that and all the tools and everything. So every, each of them had our name on And, I mean, gosh, I still have that. It's almost embarrassing to tell you and show you because I'm 30. Um, yeah, so I used to really love that. I was like, yeah, when I have my own place, I'll have, like, I already have a chopping board for that when I'm grown up, whatever. I don't know if I really loved it then, actually, come to think of it. Because, I don't know, I guess I expected something... I don't know, cooler as a kid and like you got a chopping board or snake. I don't know, like it's really cool with this that it's so personalized, but I just hadn't expected it. I don't know, I don't remember a hundred percent 
And he was really, he's really, I mean, he put effort into making this himself, which is cool. Because when we left primary school, I'm like, we were all reading and everything. I don't know how to put that better. But like, I feel like, at the time, I guess I thought I had expected something more, maybe like, kid-like, where, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like, give a kid a plate, you know what I mean? It's like, it's so cool because it looks like ch good for children, but... I think you want to kind of play or have something really fun. I'm not saying it's not fun, but let's just say Barbies and cars and I don't know. Um, so maybe a part of me, I don't know if I want to adopt it. I feel like it's, oh, ever. I'm not always me. I mean, I don't know. Um, then I don't even know if I need to tell the whole story, but I guess my mom also kept it. And we were just using the kitchen then. So it was like part of a household. It was just functional, so I didn't really think about it. And then like England, and after that, coming back there, oh god, we still have that. And then eventually I took it with me because it's mine. And I guess I thought, you know, we moving in together, like here, like me and my husband have our own place, so I'm gonna utilize it. But like every time I look at it, I just feel like a kid. Like I can't even, I don't even have better words. And it's like, again almost embarrassing that I'm telling you because I, I don't know if people look at it like you still have that but then they probably are overlooking something that they still have from years ago and it's just um so when I had the bracelet thing I realized like it's what I was almost like confirmation from Christ like we already knew that instinctively and yet I feel like we haven't made those choices like now I mean considering more a more simplistic lifestyle it was kind of like, I went through a couple of things. There's these mugs that I found like, they might come from a time when there was like a lot of negative energy around me, like a lot of negative energy. And it's a pity because they always really loved these and bought them and they wanted to keep them. And we were in shared housing, which is like a thing in the UK. And uh, I wanted to keep them nice and safe and I didn't want other people like, over, like use them and break them before I got already got got use out of it. However, then it always stood it stayed hidden until like hidden or in a box and like for the chat waiting for the chance to be used. And I feel like how now the chance has come. I don't really feel like they belong in the now. I feel like they belong in the past. And then I don't know if there's still any energy of that on it. So I don't feel it, but it might be. It's like you know. Blah, blah, blah. It might have been. There was a poem. It's not coming to mind. However, I figured we could... Remember I was thinking about the plates because of the, um... Is it Holland? That beautiful blue and white thing I saw in a cherry shop. I don't know if I... Yeah, I have told you about it. And you yeah, have told you about it in a recording or something. However, these are the plates. However, like, I didn't get that thing, unfortunately. I realized afterwards, it would have been right, lol. Um, I know there's no right or wrong, etc. But, so, well, I guess we need plates because we have to eat from something. However, look at these. Enough. And I really love these. They're actually so cute. They're very similar already. And I, these are like my favorite. I think these are some of my favorites. Like there are a lot. I don't want to get rid of. I don't know about these, but also we never used these yet. But it was kind of fun because Lord of the Manor and the other one says Lady of the Manor, so I really liked it. It was before we even moved and even found this place. Then we found. Then we came here. I was like, oh, when we have our own place, so now we do. And then Essence said that we can, because I kind of asked him for his opinion, and he would like say, okay, you know. Yeah, we can keep those. And no, I don't want to get rid of them because he already said. But also, um, the thing is, the thing is that we never really got to use them. But I want to kind of you have used them a while. But you know, it's still like I you realize, yeah, they're like way too many. I know that. Um, so there was another pair. Apparently, wait, they're like here. So it's like. These are also really cute. So all of these are like really similar with like roses and all of them go with the plates, but I love these more. This would be a good decluttering video in the past because I wanted to
have done that already, but because I feel like I wanted to like do this more. So I'm felt wondering if like maybe we should also go with like I don't want to be the one to just take them out away. If he like them. I was the one who got them, like I was the one who first liked them, but it's kind of cool because we're like a first time own flat. Like it's not even our own flat, but like you know renting and like Lord of the Man. It's just kind of like it's just a fun thing. Have. But I figured even if there's some I'm not a hundred percent like like ready to like let go. We can kind of start with these because we still have a lot of other mugs and they all go with the place. Yeah, update time so it's gonna well this it's about to be weekend, so I'm thinking that hopefully I will I don't wanna promise anything, but I did wanna make a start on that if possible so the second thing that i figured during that time which i never got to update you on because this is kind of like energy but it both is like you know belonging to a different time i mean but this is really positive energy it's just i feel like i'm a kid and i'm not and it just feels kind of off However, that was before the involvement about moms, and now we learned about moms, and I just feel like now, after that gave me a renewed appreciation, like, one, she skipped it for me, but also, like, my ch childhood, like, roots in, gen in general, it's not really 100% related to moms, it's just more like, I don't know, like, roots, and that kind of began to, I don't know, confuse me a little bit, but I do I need to find some items. I don't know if you ever get that, but like I know like my mom seemed to really like it. I think my like moms they like all the like stuff related to childhood, and then it kind of made me feel like if I'm letting go, but like she really likes it. It's weird. Sometimes I feel like we want to keep something for our moms, even though you know we don't need it. I don't know. If, let me know if you ever get that. Um, it's a bit confusing because now I really appreciate our roots and I, and she I appreciate how much she liked it because she loved it because she loved me, and it reminded her of me and being the kid that he was and all. So um, like I appreciate that because I know it means that she loved me. So now I'm like, well I appreciate that she loved me because I love her. So I was like, but also I can't keep up chopping more because of that, and it's like really chopped up you can see I just feel like simplicity and this kind of I happen to come across it so. um like I deserve to have a grown up chopping board see what I mean by like the size difference um could have kind of been just a little bit bigger it's not a lot, actually, in centimeters, not even a centimeter, but it just, like, makes a difference. If you were to put a bread on this, I'm pretty sure I don't have bread now. I have more returns. Ooh, but these are small anyway. Um, you know what? Why did I just, that came out of me, but it means that she loved me. That's why she, because she loved the kid I was, and she loves me anyway still now, but I just realized that when I said that, I'm like, no, it's making it even harder. I'm a bit confused, like some of these are contradictory. I don't want to say that because of whom we received them from. Christ, I don't want to, I'm not saying that they contradict each other, they helped us to giving us this information, however, like, I'm not sure if whether I comprehended it enough to know which one to go by. But you know what? I maybe appreciate my mom's love for me without needing to hold on to it. It just kind of like, a, it feels like a thing that actually got a part of me have wanted to let go a long time ago and hasn't. Um, but if you want to know what held me to it, it would have been that. And like, I wasn't even conscious of it until I just said it. Um, yeah, this might, I mean, you can always review it, but like, here I have a couple things, making a start, 
the shoes fell apart, as you know. The other ones too, but at least they're kind of comfortable. So I really need shoes, actually. I have got to go out one of these days and have to buy shoes. Um, and there are a couple of the Wellingtons. I'm going to talk to you through that tomorrow, but I also have to like make it start somewhere. Maybe is it worth asking her if she wants it? I just don't want to, next time I like, visit her, to then end up thinking, isn't that mine? And let's think, even think I want it back. Let's hope and pray that by that time it'll be um I'll be like living a simplistic lifestyle. Oh my god. Inshallah. And also <laughs> having some doubts. Um just be like I never thought that could ever have been me and if that becomes me Shukara alhamdulillah. Okay, so um Things are possible, we never thought they were possible. And all the evolvements towards that, but I don't want to like make that like my goal and then be disappointed. Um, just we'll see. It'll be more simple, simplistic than it is now. And yeah, this just feels like it belongs in now, even though there's a positive energy. I wouldn't know how like. quiet because I wouldn't know how to say or how to justify or like how to like express in words what if I'm like I don't know like um uh, I don't want this to be an indecisive day but I feel like I made the right choice with this yeah I think that I'm gonna finish this up because I can't even speak it out, but like, I've came with so many solutions, so it feels a little bit strange to stay in here and say, I don't know which one I pick. But I feel like it just belongs with the past. What can I do? So. Did I mention that, I don't know, if, because I just used that, because obviously it needs to, if anyone was going to try this, I mean, I don't know. Food grade. But also you don't want it to get rancid in the wood, which I don't know anything about, so I'm just kind of like the one who takes the rest, but I'm not, I'm not recommending that, okay? You're not supposed to use anything to like get rancid, but I didn't have anything else personally. I take the responsibility, okay. I feel like this was, um, one of those normal seeming videos, from, which I would have made back in the day. Well, if I find any more findings, I will update you tomorrow. But like simplistic, you just can't do that. And I'm gonna reserve this for that. Cleo in it, but then like I learned about moms and all like when I said that about the jumper, I put my mom first, so maybe I should be like I did say it's fair enough to evolve. Uh, I'm gonna try that, which obviously it is. I feel like this was getting really long, and I'm just gonna repeat myself because I don't know what I'm saying, so I'm just gonna bid you adieu for now. This was a lovely update on a couple items which took like 20 minutes. Um, yeah. But, yeah. It's just me, so, yeah. But I was thinking with the shoes, because they're kind of hard, but like also, if I can get like a couple of um, layers out of them, then I'll still get my five bucks back in. Thank you, Trip.
Actually, well, I should think. Thank the Lord. Okay, well, I'm just going to say goodbye to you now, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you will be back here. Um, and do feel free to like, subscribe, and um, comment or share. Bye. If anyone needed a reminder. Because it's not like the most, what do you even call that? The most obvious thing about social media. Alrighty, well, I'll see you.